going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a walk by transition in Vegas Pro 14. So on the screen right now is uh, some raw footage or some royalty free footage of Tokyo where people are walking. And then right here this guy comes in and this is where I want the effect to happen. Now you can see I've already split this part out where just he is walking. And the reason for that is because we're gonna be doing some masking. So for that, head over to the event pattern crop. Now I recommend putting this as big as you can so it's easier to work with. And obviously you wanna have mask checked and then you also wanna have a sync cursor checked. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go across one frame and you'll see right now behind him, um, this is where we're going to start masking. So I'm going to zoom in right here. I'm going to left click and simply lay down these dots like so. And I'm going to connect back up like that. Now you'll notice the entire um, image or the video here has gone dark and we don't want that. So we're going to come over to mode where it says path and we're going to change this to negative. You'll see now just this little section here has gone dark and the rest of the video is bright. We're going to come across another frame. So right on your keyboard, you can see this gap has now gotten bigger. We're going to right click and select reset mask. Now we're just going to simply mask around him again. And this is all we're going to do. So everything that he is, that's going to be behind him is going to be masked out. Again, this area is light. We want to change the mode to negative. Next frame, you can see again. So right click, reset mask, and then over around his head again. And that's not very accurate, but um, again, back up, connect, change your mode to negative. And then we keep going like this all the way until he is walked off screen right there. So um, I'm gonna go to this, just do this last one here. And I'll show you a trick around what you can actually do later on. So I'm going to go around him like this. And of course, this time we have to go all the way to the bottom of the screen. Then left click, left click, connect back up, change the mode to negative. Now, if I X out of this, you'll see this is what we have. And coming through in frames, that area behind him is going to be blacked out. And that's where we've done the masking. So the video you saw at the start is right here and I made it before I created the video. You can see here's all the masking I done. Now, um, this, here's the little trick I'll be showing you. So as he gets closer towards the end right here, when he gets smaller, to save us time, you can see what I've done is instead of masking all the way around like so, I've gone to the next frame and just masked him out. And now just the part where I've masked him out, I've kept the mode as positive. The reason for that is because then it'll just be showing him. And then I've done this for the last few frames. Again, the reason for that is because it's gonna save a lot more time instead of masking all the way around and then going up to the top and then going all the way down here, all the way down here, and then connects back up. This one, we just simply connect around him. Now you can also do that um, throughout the entire video. So if I just right click and reset this mask, what we can do is actually mask around all of him or your subject like so. And yeah, um, to me though, I think it is longer and you have to be more accurate. For example, this guy is wearing glasses, so we'd have to be a lot more accurate with this. So um, the other technique I do recommend, but you can also use this as well, because if I show you, you can see he is cut out like that. So one more time, just so you understand uh, the easier way of doing it, left click and create these dots and it's going to be everything that's going to be behind your subject. And then all the way down like so, come up here, come up here and connect back up. Now you know you connect back up when all the dots turn yellow. So select that dot and you can see everything here is dark. We don't want that. We're going to change the mode over here to negative. So we want our subject to be bright the entire time. Now, when I did do this, I did end up making a mistake and not have him um, bright the entire time. But you can see I did have to go back and fix all of it. And it creates a very, very nice, smooth animation like so. Now, you'll also notice in my masking, I wasn't 100% accurate, but I was close enough to his body the entire time. That's why you can't really, I don't think you can actually see any faults in my mask. If you can, then uh, yeah, you can. I'm not going to do anything about it. But yeah, that is how you create the walk by transition 
in Vegas Pro 14. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it has been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to... But that's it. But that... Oh, shit. I'm not recording.